In the ultra-competitive world of professional sport, there exists an elite group of athletes who have risen to the top despite facing seemingly insurmountable challenges. These select few are known as the Toyota Hilux Unbreakables. Today, I'm in footy heartland to chat to an icon of the game, Jonathan Brown. The hulking centre-half forward is a Coleman medalist, two-time All-Australian and three-time AFL Premiership winner, but had to overcome a number of career-threatening injuries along the way. Jonathan Brown, you are an AFL Hall of Famer, a legend of the Brisbane Lions. Was it always your dream to follow in your old man's footsteps? It was. I remember uh, going through Dad's scrapbooks, playing for the Fitzroy Lions mainly. He got a couple of games there for Essendon, but uh, it was always the Lions, and uh, I just wanted to follow in his footsteps. So the moment comes, you're at the Brisbane Lions, and you make your debut. Um, was it the best game, was it? Memorable, Very though. Very inauspicious debut. The whole family's flown up to Brisbane for it, so a little bit of pressure. By three-quarter time, I'd been benched by my great coach, Lee Matthews, with the stats of zero kicks, zero handballs, and zero marks. I got a free kick, though, but a teammate played on and the umpire called advantage. Come back, come back. But on reflection now, you look back and think, geez, I was lucky uh, to be part of one of the great teams of all time and have premiership success on the theatre of the MCG. You're leading, you're in the prime of your career, you're playing unbelievable football, but then the injuries yeah. start to happen. How did that take a toll on you? Yeah, well, it was really frustrating, because as a leader, well, the best way to lead is by leading by example. And when you're sitting in the grandstand, it's a little bit hard. I probably learned to become a real professional, uh, look after my body, prepare as best as I could to get myself back out there. And, and it does teach you resilience. The biggest slow of all happened in 2011, where yeah. you suffered an injury. The doctor, uh, club doctor, was fearful of you dying. You <laughs> had uh, six titanium plates, wires, screws. I mean, it's a beautiful yeah. face there that we thank, see thank today. You. But thank you, Sarah. A lot going on underneath, yeah? I got hit one night uh, against Fremantle and thought I was probably unbreakable to that point, but uh, that night I, <laughs> I learned that I might need a little bit of help and uh, had the operation and they put a brand new bull bar on my chin and uh, I was right to go. So the body suffered the injuries, but the unbreakable bit was your spirit. Yeah, the unbreakable spirit is something that probably drove me and it's the unbreakable spirit to follow my dream. I and mean, that was to play AFL football and that really is what endured. The mental part of it is harder than the physical part, I think. Just to be able to turn up, in, in, do your rehabilitation properly and get through that, but do it day after day after day. And, and it's lonely. No one's really there with you. Your teammates are off playing football. So you've just got to persevere. When you look back on your career, did the young boy from Warrnambool ever expect to finish up a three-time Premiership player, Coleman medals and all the accolades you received? No way, Jonesy. I, I'm very lucky. I, I didn't think I'd get there, especially after my debut. I got on that ride at the start, hoping for great things, and got off at the end very proud of the experience I went through and the relationships I built. My old coach, Lee Matthews, used to always say to us, failure cannot cope with perseverance. <laughs>